Goedenavond dames en heren en welkom terug bij aflevering 4 van Purge Pro 9. We zijn halverwege de kandag en dat betekent dat we nog drie afleveringen te gaan hebben voordat we een nieuwe kampioen zullen kronen. Een waanzinnige eerste dag leverde ons een totaal van 546 goedgekeurde baars op. Gevolgd door een veel taaiere dag vanaf de kant. Op dit moment heeft team Headbanger 3 punten en team Eholotus.eu 1. Maar de achtervolgende teams liggen niet ver achter. Dus dit zal nog een spannend gevecht worden. Birch Pro 9 wordt u aangeboden door Big Bike Traders, premium boat traders gemaakt in Letland. Westgear, uw bootdealer in Zweden. One Boat Network, all together now. En GR Logistics, bemiddeling en recrutering van vrachtwagenchauffeurs en magazijnmedewerkers sinds 2004. Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 4. Yeah, you heard the result. It's close, it's tight and lots of team struggle. Uh, I think we are all also struggling. We are catching many fish, but they're too small. But we are in the number and we're not so far from the top five either. So we just need to hit that one big, I think. Then it can be a game changer for us. Okay, go. Let's, let's fish. Go. Let's, let's go. go. We need to, to fish a lot. Team Bite of Bleak had een taaie eerste helft van de kandag en aan het eind van de eerste aflevering konden ze de boot niet te water laten wegens de parkeerplek van Team Shimano. Dus moesten ze snel een beslissing maken en zijn ze op weg naar een nieuw meer. Hallo guys, dit is Bite of Bleak. We zijn in episode 4 nu. We zijn op onze weg naar een nieuw lake, want onze eerste lake niet niet produceren. De vis die we wilden. En na onze tweede lake, Shimano, we vissen. Nu is het een emergency plan. And we have to change from big fish to numbers now. Yeah, we have nothing other than that to no. go for. We got zero fish and the team with most fish right now had 16. We're switching game and going for numbers to get one point today. Yeah, that is the plan. Team Kingfish and Rice and Camo Tackle were slechts 1 cm verwijderd van the topwater point na het vangen van een baars in de laatste worp voor het report. 44 cm is de te kloppen score op topwater. And that is het punt waar ze voor zullen gaan. Hey guys, welcome to episode 4. Hallo. Now we're on a new spot and uh, do a few more minutes top water fishing because the result from the report is it's one centimeter yeah. and we can crack that. We have to. We need to. Yeah. So we do this for a bit and then we yeah. go over to the deep edges and go for the numbers and the big fish point without... For the, not for the numbers, for the top five. Uh, for the top five, I mean. Without the popping and top yeah. water things. Keep your fingers crossed. We need at this time just one centimeter more to equalize with them. Let's see. Let's see. Let's right. go. Team King Fischerisen, come on tackle. So we were just catching this 43 uh, centimeter perch in the last episode with the exactly last cast. We were kind of excited and thought it could be enough for the, for the top water point <laughs> and we could go to the edge and fish for, for the bigger fishes on rubber and stuff. But we made our calculation without headbanger. That was the problem. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's why we are a little bit top water fishing again. And then the plan is to grind, as we said, the, the edge for big fishes. We might not catch a lot in this episode. Sorry guys for that, but we hope to catch some big ones and in the evening the top water hunt should be on, hopefully. Well, the first fish in the new episode, it is a perch, but not a giant. It's still a nice fish, and he's in all four hooks in there. Beautiful fish, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stripes on it. It's pretty cool. See you. Fishing from shore is a nice way to catch fish. It's harder because you can't reach every spot that you can reach with a boat. Um, but I enjoy shore fishing because you you give spots more time. You fish you fish them more effective because you know you just have several spots. And in a boat you're always thinking, okay, where can I go? Let's search for some edges. Uh, Let's find fishes with the, with the sonar, search for bait fish and all that. And you don't do this while shore fishing. It's more enjoyable because you are with the nature and with the spot. 
Team Sporting Siemen hebben een taaie dag vanaf de kant en ze zijn nog steeds op zoek naar hun eerste goedgekeurde baars. Dus hebben ze besloten om naar een ander meer te verkassen. Hallo guys, welkom bij episode 4. We hebben een change location to a big lake. We will hunt big perch in this lake. There are no numbers on the spots where we're gonna fish. One big fish is what we're out after today. We need that two chances: either one big fish on the surface or one big fish on the bottom. Yeah. Nothing else is is what we're trying to catch today. We have no chance of big five. We have no chance of numbers. numbers. There's zero chance. Watch us and hang out with us, and we try to catch one. Yes, fish on, but no big big one. I don't think it's even 30. No, it's okay. It's over 30. TRD tickler, kaboom. Today's first fish. Fish is 34. We know there is a lot of uh, fish in this lake. Yeah, fish on, missed it. They're just about 10 meters out. There. I haven't had a sniff. This lake could give us a number point. That's one, one of the reasons, because the, there wasn't so many fish caught during the 12 o'clock report. But we need to speed up. Yeah, we need to speed up a lot if we should have a chance at least. There is a chance to get a bigger fish here. Dansken, the perch master, has caught a 47 in this spot. Uh, one happy good thing is that we missed the rain. It was heavy rain on the road while we changed the place. Fish on. This is approved. 31. 30. 31. Het verkassen loont meteen en ze zijn twee vissen dichter bij een volle lijst. Twee teams zijn nog steeds op zoek naar hun eerste goedgekeurde baars en één van hun is team Neestroft. Die als laatste aan het vissen waren en nu nog ongeveer acht uur vis tijd over hebben. Not a single perch for the first, I don't know, two hours of fishing. And now we're gonna fish the second spot. Team Neistroff with me, Tuas Ekvall and Justin Schöne. And he's preparing some stuff and it has also started to rain. And on this spot on the training, you had a good perch on on the shadow bait. We also caught like one smaller one, but we didn't fish it for too long. So this is where we're gonna start fishing for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, see if something's happening. And then we're gonna change spot again. So today I think we're gonna change a lot and see if we can find them uh, where they are at the moment. Here yeah, it's really deep in front of me. Yeah. Welcome to Dave episode uh, number four and we are going in dark mode. So we will not know nothing about other teams as well. But we will focus on quantity point because this is so point we see able to do quickly. We have found some fish and we scroll them. So we hope they will remain active. It's quicker. I hope they will remain active. This is good size, good bite, deep in. Keep hammering, as somebody says, this is nice 34. Should be, should be, should be, should be, should be quicker. If you need assistance, just no, no, no. cut out. Yeah. I think there's no question about the size. See, over 30. We are using two types of rigs. Uh, Martins goes with uh, jig head, heavy jig head. My my rig is Moscow rig, and we both are throwing quite far away. That's why we need long rods, good rods, and uh, the bites are very far, far on the edge of the uh, between the stro st stream and the calm water. Welcome to episode four <laughs> with <laughs> with another nice perch in the middle of the lunch break. Nice fish. Yeah, maybe it's not an upgrade, but it's, it's around like 39, 40. Yeah, but you I have don't, to check. Yeah, I don't think it's 41, but we will check. I will unhook it and then we'll check. Nice one. So it was 38 centimeter. So now we will release this beauty. So the tactics is that we move the boat along and we hop from island to island, reef to reef. We got a super smart invention. It's to call the uh, Minkota Raptors. Hydraulic and just locks down the boat. And now we know that Ejolotes, they are uh, the same numbers as we are at the current moment. So we can only hope that we uh, find a good spot, a lot of fish. Approved.
Maybe I have to do the jerk bait fishing too. So, another clicker. And two fish, 17. Shutter bait, the pig hula, just off the bank. Super nice. Okay, one more. Het is heel goed mogelijk dat we weer getuigen zullen zijn van de bizarre aantallen strijd tussen Team Catch with Care en Team Eolotus.eu. Marius en Matthias vonden geen grote baars op een vorige topwaterstek, dus nu zijn ze verkast. En op deze plek laten ze de topwaters even met rust. So, what I try now is because we have a lot of crawfish eaten here. So first of all, to get everything clear and clean and good looking. I have this groove box because you can put your hooks in here and it will hold everything. It's just nice to, to keep it clear to have your stuff done and just have to grab it like this. I take a 14 gram hat because I want to go really slow on the bottom. It's a good thing with the skirt of jigs is that you have an, uh, another attractor with some black and red sprinkles. Also you have the cross so it looks really nice. They take a bit of air with it and do some bubbles and all that so it should be great for some nice perch. Let's give it a try. Oh, 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 that's a, oh, that's a perch. Oh, Marius, please, it's present. right behind you, right behind you. Oh my God. <laughs> that was a good first one. Yes, oh. man. Awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. I really could cry. Oh, oh Henke. Yes, he good job. took it good like job. crazy. Oh, but you so, smashed so, it. So, sorry, therefore. It's not a monster, but. Bra, Henke. Oh, totally worked out. A really nice perch crawfish eater and that's what I wanted to show you with the skirted jig it's always try different things try new things and also when it looks weird to you it doesn't look weird for the fish oh the moment of truth calm down boy oh, it's a 37 good job yeah let's bring this beauty back to the water Sorry guys for freaking out like hell. It was a 37, but it's, uh, it was a really nice fish, very strong. It felt way heavier, but um, I'm happy anyway. It's, it's nice to catch fish from the shore and it's totally different than fishing from, yeah, fishing from a boat. So I'm happy, I'm always happy when I'm outside fishing and enjoy every fish. The size doesn't matter. That's what he said. This is what, the perches eat, what the perches are chasing for. Just try it. It's the Rhine's Ring Craw, Kitek Football, Skirted Jig, 40 grams. So it worked out very well. Slow, small bumps on the bottom, and they would pick it up anyway. De zon schijnt bij Matthias en Marius. Maar voor Team Headbanger is het de hele dag af en aan regen. En nu, nou ja, je ziet het, het giet weer. Oh, it's, it's, it's a perch. It's a big perch. Okay, just bring it into the net. It's a belly hook. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was close. Nice. Nice one, man. Yeah, put it down in the water and we... We're getting some upgrades in the pouring rain. Ooh. On the cranky shad. If you keep catching them like this, I will never get the chance to fish. Okay, so... Fish is 44 centimeters. 44. This fish is tying with our other big fish. So now we have two fish of 44 centimeters, so that's great. Uh, that's uh, four centimeters extra for us. So perfect. Het weer zou niet slechter kunnen om in te vissen, maar de klus moet wel geklaard worden. Weer een upgrade in de top 5 voor Marcus en Emmanuel. Team Bite of Bleak is eindelijk aangekomen op een nieuwe plek en ze hebben meteen de vis gevonden. So, finally, Bike to Bleak is signing in today. 32 centimeter fish, first clicker for us. Half day gone, but really happy about it. 
it's a perch. And it's a clicker. Confirm. Goodbye. I think there are more. Did you get one out there? No, I was more to the right. Okay, so we are fishing like a small bay with a deep hole, trying to get the perch. This is a too small place for, for I mean, holding a lot of fish. Yeah. What do you think? You never know. High winds out there. And fish on. No. Small one, right? Yeah. It's really nice for us to finally start fishing after like two and a half hours, maybe three hours moving around, just to try to find a spot we can fish. So finally we, we have it here. So let's hope we can catch something more. Add some contacts right in front of us. Mm. Like now. Small perch. No clicker. Right, too small. Yeah. Better? I think it's the third fish I lose, like that distance. Try to push the rod down to keep them in the water. Yeah. But it, there are some weed lines there. You yeah. know, <laughs> I want to have them coming up over the weed. And I'm also afraid of that pike, but now, of course, you catch it. Yeah, he Maybe he shut up. <laughs> hmm. Is that really fish doing it like that? It's like take stop. I thought it was a rock, but then. You're not standing far out in that case. Now, headbangers in a really bad situation because we have gone to our secret spot. Not really, but. Dustin has caught a lot of really big ones here. He caught a 49 and his friend caught a 50-51 here on top water. So there are really big ones here you can catch on the top water. This is really hard river. Sometimes you catch them, sometimes you don't. But if we get one on top water, I think it's gonna be a big one. So that's what we're targeting. We're gonna stay here for, I think, maybe two, three hours. And then we're gonna leave. The fish here, they're standing next to the shoreline because there are a lot of trees and a lot of bushes that hangs down. And then there's like uh, some insects and some uh, creatures that falls down from the leaves and the perch eat them. So we're gonna stand close to the edge and just fishing as close as possible to the shoreline. Let's go down and start the fishing. Dustin has already started because we are in kind of hurry. Because we need to catch at least one big fish today. How many meters do you think we'll fish here? Walking a bit the other side I would say 20, 30, 50, 100 meters. Yes, sure. And then if it's not working, we drive with the car to the end and walk to the spot where we had the 45 on top water. Sure. Okay, let's go. Really hope that that ain't thunder. The weather report said no thunder. Last night it said thunder. So we check it constantly and so far no thunder, but you never know. Always close to land. Twenty nine point eight. Close, but no cigar. Well, I use the Stripe Pro Inquisitor. It's a small uh, jerk bait. This looks like just the same that uh, on the for the live baits that they are aiming for. I straighten my line and do two times and let it hang for two three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> the golden beauties, such nice colors. A lot of stripes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight stripes, really nice. De tijd tussen de beten wordt steeds korter voor Adam en Evert. 16 klikkers tot nu toe na het report, dus in totaal 31 paarsen. Finally fish, and it's definitely decent fish. It's hard to tell precisely how big it is because there's huge stream, but the fish is good. Let's let's hope that it will stay on the hook. Yeah. 
It's good, good, good fish. <laughs> Yo, it's good fish. I think we should measure it. Uh, after a hard hour, I took this fish. It uh, could be a uh, top fish. We will measure it. Uh, this with this uh, uh, Moscow rig because I need super super long cast here yeah. and let's let's measure it's about 39 I believe or Let, 39. let's measure uh, 39 and a half 39.7 <laughs> yeah. almost 40 okay eindelijk een upgrade voor team eolotus.eu en nu heeft Martins ook beet Wolf Creek, 8 centimeters, 28 grams, tungsten jug, uh, this jig head. No, 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 not in the stones, please. Okay. Yep, I'm uh, ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Papa. It's a very good fish. Boom! In a stream. In a high stream. Boom. Uh, that's so fine. Second nice fish in short period. Okay. We hope that big stream helps us again. Let's measure it. It's 39. Woo! One more 39. Exactly 39. Super. Okay. We do quick release. Opa. Two 39s. Why they are not 45s? We will work on that. Wolf, Wolf Creek will help. Nog een 39 op de lijst, maar dat zal niet genoeg zijn om vandaag een punt te pakken. In Nederland lopen Tobias en Dustin langs de kant, op zoek naar hun eerste goedgekeurde baars van de dag. Ja, fish on! Ja, man. Ja, wat pike. Ah, that's not what we need. Ah, it's a nice fish, it was nice adrenaline. Yeah, I just lay it down because due to the rain everything is wet. It's quite okay for the fish, I think. It's not what we need, but it was a lot of adrenaline for me. Because in the first moment I thought that might be a perch, but yeah, I right away saw it's a pike. The pike really took the bait. A nice little pike. I was hoping for a perch, but it's summer. I release it real quick. Why is fishing sometimes this hard? Sometimes you don't get nothing and sometimes you can get like in every cast. That's both fun and also not fun. It's fun because when you finally have this good fishing, it's like a dream. But when you have days like this, when nothing is working, it's not too much fun. Especially not when it's like a perch where you really want and probably also need to perform today. Perch, perch. Oh. Go on! Do you need a measuring board? It's maybe 30. No, it's not 30, I guess. I, I'll, I'm coming. So, this is the first perch. Not the size we wanted to, um, but we came here and we see the water is really, really murky. Not per perfect for this spot and for topwater fishing. Uh, I think it's not even approved. But I'm quite happy. I took the bait in front of my feet, so it was really, really... No, it's 25, I guess, in the, in the end. <laughs> uh, at took... least you caught one. It's a Lanka. Now it's just a small one. But I let it back real quick. And as I already said, the problem is... Actually, you catch quite big fish here on top of water. Um, as I said, I had fish close to 50 but the problem at the moment is the water is so murky compared to yeah the times before we've been here what to do that's fishing weather changed it's rain we had 36 degrees before and now it's 19 so i guess that's not the perfect uh, that are not the perfect conditions for fishing but it's always easy to blame the weather or something else there's one fish we have to catch no matter what, no matter if the weather changed or other circumstances are not perfect, this fish we have to catch today with no excuses. I have a small one. 
Yes, but small. Not at all what we are looking for, really tiny one. But if there's like small here, I think there's big one as well. And now the rain kind of stops, so I don't need to wear this one anymore. And that might be a good period. We'll see. I'm just going to put this one back and then we we'll continue the fishing. Bye bye. Dustin, did your uh, fish take close or was it close to the shore or? Very close to the shore. Almost at the shore. Hmm. Yours too? Yeah, exactly where you cast that. But two contacts in uh, two minutes. Yes. One big fish was following this lure or missed it while attacking it. Yeah. But hey, the circumstances totally changed. Yeah, Mur murky water. Doesn't feel like it's that, that we should stay here. No. So let's go. Yes. Let's go to another spot where we know we can catch. We can catch, but we will probably not catch them. But it's possible to catch a big one there. So let's leave and hope the weather conditions uh, will be better. De jacht gaat door voor Tobias en Dustin. Nog steeds geen vis op de lijst, maar een baars van 24 centimeter is op dit moment genoeg voor een punt. En we weten dat het mogelijk is om letterlijk elke worp een aanbeet te krijgen. Ja, vis. Double strike. <laughs> nice. Let's measure them together. It's amazing that I haven't like fallen yet. 37, so approved for the numbers at least. That's nice. 43. Nice. Good job, Marcus. The crankershad is doing the job today. Yeah. This is a real beautiful fish. Awesome. Way. Nice, beautiful mm. ones. And we have upgraded, I think it's seven centimeters. And that's 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 very nice. But uh, we just heard some thunder. Forecast says it's a thunderstorm incoming. If we're unlucky, we need to like abort and not fish the entire day. That would be really bad because we, see, we think we can upgrade some more fish and do an even better result. We are power fishing right now. We're fishing each pot very fast, hoping to like get a fast reaction bite on each pot. Even though the weather has been kind of tough, it's been a very enjoyable day fishing. And even though it's very uncertain what's gonna happen, it feels good to have some points right now. And if we lose them, I still had a really good time. So I'm super happy with this day so far. Now we just try to focus on upgrading some fish and uh, we will move back on the spots where we had some fish earlier today and hope to get one really big one. There are no crazy numbers in this lake, the fish are kind of spread out and we catch one here, one there, So, uh, but the average size is really good so it's every cast is important and it's important to hook every fish. So now for the first time today uh, we're going backwards, fish the spots we have already fished at and uh, we think we can catch some more, uh, like Emanuel was fishing the Spitfire, like the first couple of hours. And now we will do some bang ribs damage, so yeah, keep following us. <laughs> so guys, we are now at a pretty rocky place, as you can see also in my hand. There's no lure on it anymore. At the steep edge here in front of the rocks where the perch is used to control and patrol along. Here are some big schools of baitfish out there, which they actually chase on the fall down to the seven, eight meter places. Um, I'm fishing now with some cheddar braids. I tried to uh, start with that, with a bait casting combo. This is the Concept Z uh, bait casting reel from 13, as well as the Muse Black also from 13. It's a really nice combo. You can use it for uh, heavier cheddar baits, twitch baits, um, I use it a lot for pike fishing, it's fantastic. So that's the plan, I get a new lure and then we hopefully see us later with a new lure and a new perch. See you then! Can you give me the knife? Yeah, thanks man. Not the perch. Oh Jesus, I lost control. Look at this. 
old and worn out warrior which took a Picasso chatterbait with a shaker trailer. Pretty cool. It's not that fat actually, but old and long. So there it is in the front. It's a 43 again. Ciao. We need more of them. Let's go. Okay, keep on using. So I just, as I mentioned, was fishing a, a shatter bait um, just along the the edge was the rocks and it worked out pretty well with a 43 warrior. He was probably messed up by a pike or something like this. This was the lure, as I said earlier. It's uh, from Lanka City, a shaker as a trailer and a Picasso shadow bait from Z-Man. I like the, the gold plates a lot. So this is, I think, um, around three uh, quarter ounce and unzen. And yeah, so we hope for at least three more because we would need it to yeah, have at least a chance. And then later we go for the top water again. Maybe it works out, but at least it's fun, you know, to stand in the water, catch fish. It's always cool. Conditions slowed down a bit, so be optimistic. You often hear that people say, oh, fishing with a chatterbait, that's pretty boring, like with a spinner. But actually, for me, it's, it's a good way, you, you know, to fish different techniques. You can either do it like retrieve it in, let it stand because on the way down it's also shuffling. You could also jig it kind of. This sometimes makes the purchase really crazy because there's whole time action on the lure. And you can fish it just, you know, cast it in, fast retrieve on the surface, let it sink all the way to the bottom. So it's like a real jig. You can fish it everywhere you want. But um, yeah, with a lot more interest because of the plate because of the, I don't even know what it's called, these rubber things on it. So I actually like this bait a lot to cover water, to fish in different ways. And you shouldn't just reel it in like you do with a spinner, for example. So many ways to fish it. You should try it. It's cool. I was just catching a perch and uh, a big pike come and catch my perch. So maybe let's see, I can manage to to have it so let's show the pike here almost one meter look at that it wasn't perch but he, he, he stole my my perch and i finally uh, get it so it was a big one it's heavy so maybe we have to put it in the water to go back we leave this place because perch are not active anymore. Even the, the small ones are not coming. So we need to do something if you would like to be on the game again. Yeah, I think we emptied this place. We caught, I think, over 70 perch, but I think we have like 20 something approved, 21 approved. Yeah. Uh, so we need to change spot. So we're gonna go to a quite cool place in the same lake to see if they're active there. Oh, the beauty, the beauty boat. <laughs> I so miss her. Can't wait for tomorrow. Oh yeah. Gonna go out. Sure. Catch yes. the big ones. The perch sound. Yeah, yeah. totally. Totally, Especially yeah. big. Wanneer Thierry het baarsgeluid maakt, is geen enkele baars meer veilig. 22 goedgekeurde baars tot nu toe en dat is meer dan Team Headbanger heeft. Maar dat helpt niet wanneer Marcus en Emmanuel nog steeds drie punten in de handen hebben. First cast on a new spot. We walked for a couple of minutes to make a great end of this day. So first cast, nice fish. I don't think this will upgrade us, but uh, I will take a quick measurement. It's like 40. 40 centimeter. Let's release it. Oh. All right. Marcus en Emmanuel waren de eerste die begonnen met vissen, waardoor ze nu nog maar een uur vis het over hebben. En tot nu toe hebben ze een geweldige comeback gemaakt na gisteren slechts twee goedgekeurde baars te hebben gevangen. Nice. Better one. This is a, a pro, I think. You have the. Yeah, this is. Ah, uh, just. Ja. Uh, mm, yeah, mm. Go and check it. I go check it out. It's 31. First clicker for me. 
of this day. 31. Not a giant, but still, it's a clicker. It's a lot of rocks, it's not easy to go around. Here you go. First click, boom. Good, but spinky. Another clicker. This one's bigger than the other one. Here you go, baby. Last cast, then move. Yes, last cast, then move. Nothing happens in this cast. They're biting, but they're so small, so yeah. they can't even get the bait into their nope. mouths. Let's go. As you see, the weather gods are not with us. But we're hooking up some fish. So, I mean, as long as that's working, I'm glad. But the weather is really bad. I think this is a clicker, actually. Should I net it for you? No. So we're having some action right now, at least. Fish is biting. Took it on the tiny blue smoke. 33? Yeah. 33. Three. So I have one click now, but Richard got one for Richard, and this is for me. So three click now. Oh. <laughs> This is yeah. this is a clicker. Okay, again on the jerk bait, Strike Pro Inquisitor. Really good for scan the areas fast and look beautiful fish. Uh, Ebert has some really nice strikes on the Inquisitor, and we're in the, like the last of the reef islands where the water is pushing in on top of. And there's a big hole here with a lot of seaweeds and we have racked up like well almost 32 fish on top of our additional 15 so the inquisitor is doing magic i was walking around with the shatter bait came back changed to the inquisitor and the strike has been on fire so the plan now is just me and Ebert going to hammer for as many fish as possible just to keep up with the potential that echolotes and shimano might be in the same game field. So, cheer us on guys, let's go get them. We are back at the spot where we started and we can immediately see there's a lot of bait fish here jumping around and also we think we heard some perch hunting them. So we're gonna stay here for a while trying different techniques because they, it doesn't seem like the perch are too active now. We're just gonna stay here and see what happens. But the perch seems to be really inactive at the moment. In pre-fishing we saw them hunting here and we caught a 49 but today we had one big follower on the top of the lure but the rest was totally off that's so weird but that's fishing one fish today could be enough oh i was so glad no, I felt like this is the chance. Now we have the big one we need. Then there's a small pie. I was so happy for like two seconds. And then when I saw it, it's so frustrating. And I really want to catch a big perch because there's a lot of, it's even more bait fish now jumping just along this shoreline. And then there are some lily pads and stuff like that outside that I'm fishing this uh, nice warrior shutter bait. Oh, I got, some, I got such a adrenaline kick. Too bad. Kandag is min of meer taai geweest voor alle teams, maar team Neestroft is het enige team dat nog steeds nul vissen gevangen heeft. In Zweden jagen Martins en Christians op de aantallen punt en ze verbeteren langzaam maar zeker hun score. Het is oké. Okay. Should be oké. Okay. Now I have on clicker 16. If it will be approved, then it will be 17. But it seems. Uh, it looks like one centimeter short. Yeah. It's, it's 30, it's just over 30, it's okay. Click it. Now we have 33. Now we have 33. Very good that we start to catch something, but we would like to have better tempo. We should be lucky with what we have. It looks like they put even more water now. 
This is crazy stream for perch fishing. It's extremely work for reels and rods and lines to pull fish over that crazy stream. I hope no, no pike will hunt for us at the moment. Yeah, it's clicker. Good, super. This is very good. There's no doubts about the No clicker doubts around. about clicker. Bye bye clicker. This way please. Bye bye. So the bass assassin with yellow tail delivers. Actually we took it as spare, not as basic. But for this crazy distance we should cast, we need small lure which do not big air resistance. And bass assassin and wolf creek. The four inch versions, they are lures exactly we need now. Tien uur vissen is bijna ten einde voor die metbanger. Maar voordat we afscheid nemen, wil Emmanuel ons nog één laatste baars laten zien. On the last cast. And it's in. Last minute action. Jesus Christ, that was intense. This is the last fish from Team Headbanger. I don't know if it will be approved. Looks like it could be 30. So we started this episode with a fish and we get to end it with a fish. I had three casts, three fish in the end, uh, but now our time's up. Fun day. Let's hope we get to keep at least one or a few of our points. Yeah, I hope we can get report. like three points like in the lunch report. That would be really fun. Ah, that would but, be amazing. Yeah, but let's hope for at least, I'm like, hoping for the top water point. Yeah. We can get that. Top water and big five would be yeah. fantastic. <laughs> but we have a really cool lake tomorrow as well with chance of really big fish. So don't miss that. See you guys in the next episode. Marcus en Emmanuel begonnen aan de kantdag met 0 punten en slechts 2 goedgekeurde baarsen. En nu verlaten ze dag 2 met 3 punten. Wat een comeback van Team Headbanger. En nu is het aan de 7 overgebleven teams om Marcus en Emmanuel niet met 3 punten de laatste dag in te laten gaan. So we haven't had any bites at this edge here, but uh, yeah, it looks like if you have a look at this, hopefully rain coming, but it could also be a thunderstorm which we had yesterday, a big one. We really hope for the topwater evening. It's kind of sad that just top water is running for us, but we have to take it as it is. The other guys has to deal with the conditions as well. So no excuses, it's on us. So guys, as you see, there's really bad weather coming. As we saw last year, we had some really nice fishes while it rains. So give it a try. This is the new one from Ursud. I think it will fit everyone and you can get it in every size. You can different size feet, so not just fat guys, also tall guys. Try this one. I'm gonna try some uh, top water action with World Pop. So, let's go. It's one hour left uh, of this day for us. Oh, 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 second time. Did you see that? It went for it three times. Let's try it again. I'm using um, our new bait caster from Shimano, the SLX XTDC. It's a really nice reel for throwing this type of baits. This reel has the, the, the DC ship in it, so it's gonna help you cast when it's windy outside. Control your line, control your bait, so you don't get that backlash that everybody don't want to have. I'm using uh, it on our new Jesse rod. It's really a, a bang for the buck rod. If you're looking for a new rod, I really think that you should check them out. We are searching for the perch in this big lake. They are in the middle of the lake. It's really hard to reach them. There are no really good spots to go fishing from the shoreline. I think we need to go to the rocks, the, the cliffs over there. That's the only place where, where it's deep enough to to reach the fish. Fishing surface lure. Just got a, it's a bunch of really nice ones here from uh, Molix, our Italian friends. I fit this a lot today, the black one, uh, walk the dog. And this is another kind of pencil walk the dog that I think I'm gonna try out. 
I have some really nice colors. This day is by far, and it's not even close, the worst day I ever had in any Pats Pro, <laughs> fishing wise. Rainy, shitty weather, and absolutely no fish. We're gonna focus on tomorrow and do a really good day tomorrow instead. The problem with not catching so much fish is that your confidence goes down quite fast. We are really just discussing here, me and Richard, what, uh, what to do. Because this bay behind me is not delivering any more perches. It was like five, six perches and uh, yeah, a couple of pikes, but nothing more. And I mean, we really need to hit our number one spot in this lake, but still, I think it's blowing too much. How deep is it? 0.4. Touchdown! <laughs> <laughs> Finally! But I don't know if we, this, if this is not shallow enough. <laughs> Maybe not. How is it between the rocks? I don't know. Because it gets deeper here. You know, it's really high water today. Which rock are you taking? That one? Yeah. This old, old man need a stick. No. Yeah, well, Richard, <laughs> I found land. <laughs> what do you think? Some perches yeah. around here? It's a decent perch. No, 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 it's not that good. It's a clicker. Yeah, it is. We are trying really hard here. No nice conditions, pretty hard winds, really hard to keep control of your bait. Certified. It's really windy out here, hard to control the stuff. We, we hook up some better perch, but lose them against the rocks, so it's no point on doing it, I think. No. So we go, go into town. We go into see town. see if we can find some structure from land there. Yeah. Just to play last hour or something like that. Yeah, you we love know? to fish. Yeah, so we like to fish. So we, we don't stop fishing until the fat lady sings. And I did not hear her sing yet. Uh, for me, this is one of the toughest fishing day ever. If this would have been a normal day home, I would, I would have been home for a couple of hours now. <laughs> the low pressure is hitting us, hitting us so bad right now, it's insane. What yeah, I'm do? pretty close to crying now. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so guys, this spot that we're fishing, this entire area, we were here in uh, 2018 for Perch Pro. First season or first edition I was in it together with Ebert. We fished this whole area. It was a bit warmer climate, higher sun, and the topwater bite was crazy. Uh, so we're familiar with the area before, and it's so nice to be back because the fishing is, is fantastic. The, the colors of the fish are awesome. The scenery, the environment, everything is perfect. And um, yeah, so we're gonna fish the final island, the final reef, and then we're gonna go back and revisit some spots that we think um, Maybe fire it up now with the wind. Let the money spot rest for an hour, hour and a half. We got until seven o'clock. So we are hoping that the other team started early or earlier than us. There is some perch here, but I think it's all small. Oh, nice perch. Really nice one. Lunker. Yeah, this could be like almost 40. It's the only small perch. Huh? <laughs> it's the only small perch. Yeah. yeah, well, it was. Until this guy showed up, right? Deze 40 centimeter baars is de grootste van de dag voor Adam en Evert. Maar wat echt belangrijk is voor hun, is het aantal punten. En het ziet er naar uit dat ze de laatste dag in zullen gaan met nog een punt erbij. We saw some perch hunting in the surface. We arrived in a new spot. And there's so much, there's even more bait fish here than the last spot. But now I put on a top of the lure. The nice top water, the walk the dog, and I really want to try to get the big one on the top water now. Should I show you how to do it, Toby? How to catch a perch. <laughs> no. <laughs> Normally it never happens. That's a funny thing. <laughs> Normally it works really good. I do it all the time. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Oh, f I'm maybe a catfish. Oh. 
I have a big ferry on the hook. Normally I do it all the time like this. I leave it uh, on the ferry and put it down. But this time, it just, yeah, got stuck in the ferry. So I have to cut it real quick. At least some fun. No fish, but fun. It's, it's good, it's good. It's good, it's keeper. Ooh. It's not big, but it's, it's keeper. Not, not big, yeah. Just one hour left. Super hard fishing today. Uh, we have, this is I think 39. Perch number 39. Keep, keep pushing, keep pushing. We need more. Martin, what do what you think about this short day? Tricky and hard, right? It's, it's, it's really complicated for boat fishermen. Every one of us knows how to fish. And every one of us can catch a fish. But where to catch decent fish, 30 plus from the store, from the shore, it's really complicated version. Uh, I would say it could uh, change uh, results a lot because uh, this is completely different fishing. There is, uh, should be totally different spots than with boats and you can't use the sonars. So the way how to find a decent fish, 30 plus, it's good, good perch, it's uh, not easy. So it could change many things in the Perch Pro. It's tricky when we enter the dark zone and do not know, will be 39 enough or not. Helaas is 39 baars niet genoeg voor de aantallen punt. Dus hebben ze een knettergek laatste uurtje nodig om Adam en Evert in te halen. Of ze moeten gewoon één grote baars vangen om de Big Fish punt af te pakken. Ja, yeah, it's one hour left. Looks not too good for us, but stay optimistic. It was kind of a slower day than we expected, unfortunately. We still hope for the miracle, which can come true every minute. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, that's a goodie. That's a goodie. That's a good one. If there's a perch, it's a good one. Oh no, 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 no. He's strong. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Bro, Henke. Oh, headbanger, be ready. Be ready. Maybe it's close to 40. There it's on, and it's a 41. Nice perch. 45 minutes left. Let's go. Get this beauty back. Okay, so we've got at least a top five. This was 41, so we might have a top five of, um, of, yes, I don't know, close to 200 at least. But 45 minutes left, let's go. Tijd begint echt te dringen voor de overgebleven teams en het is echt niet makkelijk geweest vanaf de kant. Team Bite of Bleak gaat nog één laatste stack een kans geven. En onderweg nemen ze wat tijd om wat te rekenen. Yesterday point was spread on four. So today we hope for other teams to take the point. Yeah. I mean, we know we will not take any points today. No. And that is bad. But hopefully Shimano will keep the Shimano take will five. take one. We hope Echolotes take one. Yeah, on the numbers. And we hope Headbanger takes two. On the top water and the... Biggest fish. Because then it's open for tomorrow. And yeah, then Headbanger will be in the lead. And our plan tomorrow is yeah, big fish. Yeah, we will go for just one fish. Only way for us to win tomorrow is biggest fish of the competition and biggest big five. So we've just had an hour left, leaving that lake with all the wind. We stopped in a small town at a small harbor, just trying out some popper fishing here. Not really believing in any big, but you never know. This type of small boat harbors can really hold some big fish. Yeah, fish! No! Oh, Richard just lost one. I mean, if I can catch a 45 centimeter perch on this top water, then we have a point today. It's so fun. Top water is really fun. Uh, this is now we're into the last hour of fishing for the day. The sun has just been rising up again after a cloudy day. The air pressure is also rising. I'm gonna go with uh, a walk the dog. This is uh, a J-Pen casting really well, doing some twitches with your hand. It's a walk the dog. In my opinion, the best type of top water bait. Come on, big perchy. We just moved spots from the big lake to a small creek, just past the bridge and made a quick stop. If we catch seven more fish, yeah, seven more, then we're on 55 plus 15, that's 70. Okay, go for it. Is there a perch in here? Is it? No? 
Ah, no. No fish. Only weed. I got rewarded with some seaweed. I think uh, the hole is empty. Okay. We can, uh, when you see here, you see a hole right away. Yeah. Let's uh, punch some lures in it over there. Whoa! Huge pet! I just lifted the lure out of the water and then a huge perch came and wanted to grab my craw, but maybe they got active now. Yeah, perch! Toby! Big perch! Really big perch! No! Not again, Toby! Not again, please! Actually, I'm quite happy about the Xander, normally, but this time that's the wrong species. Oh, but one cast before I had this follower of this huge perch. I was reeling it out and then the whole perch, boom, came out of the water. Oh, I got a heart attack. I was running as fast as I could. At least something is happening, you know. Push, push, Toby. Big perch. Huge perch. Huge perch. Barely hooked, barely hooked. Yes! Good. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the f Oh! It's a really big fish. Is it 45? Toby? Look at this perch. It's super fat. I'm shaking because it was barely hooked. Yeah, it's 40, it's 45. Yes, 45. Na 9 uur vissen vangt Dustin eindelijk hun eerste goedgekeurde baars van de dag. En net als gisteren stelen ze de Big Fish punt met de kleinst mogelijke marge. Oeh, oeh, oeh. Big perch hunting. Now it's starting to happen in things. Dustin caught that one and I saw a big perch on the surface eating some minnows. If it's gonna happen, it's now. Nine hours of fishing, just pain, and then this monster. 45 from the shore is really nice. If, if we are lucky, it can be the yeah. top fish. If we are really, really lucky. I wouldn't say really, I would just say you're lucky. Yeah. Because 45 from the shore is not too easy. It's, it's keeper, Martin? Should be. Should be, but... But, you know, is this stream? Yeah, it is keeper. You know what it is? This is simply 45 or more. <laughs> it, it should be 45. And here we have a perch. And here we have a mouth closet. It's not 47, but it's definitely 46. This is freaking 46. It is 46. It is, it is, it is almost 47. Oh my it's God, crazy. thank you. It's crazy. Oh. <laughs> Every cast can be the good cast, and this is nice fish. So super fish. How? Oh. <laughs> good, good, great. The story was: I was about two meters too short, and Christian told me, "Roll out. You will not get the fish." But I waited three seconds. And then boom, 46. <laughs> that was a really good. So last cast day two. Please deliver me fish. No. No. Sometimes no means exactly that. No means no. But anyway, Perch Pro 9, keep watching. Because if you do not watch until the end, you can't see something very interesting in any of series. And keep fingers crossed for echolotes.eu. Wat een bizar einde van de kandag voor Christians en Martins. Hun plan was om te vechten voor de aantallen punt, maar in plaats daarvan nemen ze met nog maar een paar minuten te gaan de Big Fish punt over van Team Neestroft. Dag 2 zit er nu op voor bijna alle teams. Tijd om afscheid te nemen.
Guys, I'm gonna do a last cast for this horrible day. We fight it to the bitter end, but now it's over and we will come back tomorrow. Hunt for a big pouch. See you then. Thanks for following us. Hope that no one else planned to go to this lake today because this spot was taken. See you guys in the next episode. That is the end of episode four. We had a nice day in the water. It's the first time at Perch Pro that we can say in the water. Yes. Yeah, we get a bit of sleep and are prepared for tomorrow and then we see what the day brings. Yes. We fight till the end. Keep on using. Keep on using, guys. And you keep on using also. Have a good night. Okay, you guys, we gave it all. Uh, in my opinion, no mistakes, no tactical mistakes uh, today. No, everything was uh, up to the fish. Let's pray and cross the fingers that we uh, take another point today. See you until next week. Bye. Met nog maar twee teams aan het water, denk ik dat het veilig is om Adam en Eva te feliciteren met het feit dat ze weer de aantallen punten mee naar huis nemen. Een zeer uitdagende dag loopt ten einde, maar Thomas wil nog niet opgeven. My last thing I want to try is to go net fishing under the tunnel by the bridge. That's the last thing I want to do. The longer you fish, the later we start tomorrow. Never give up. I'm out. Yeah. I want to get up early tomorrow. Yeah, we will get up early. Not possible. Yeah, it is. Nope. End of episode. Number four. Total disaster is the uh, right name. Tough day today. Wrong decisions. Probably, but ah. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This time we lose big time. But uh, we'll make a strong comeback in the next episode. So watch us. Tomorrow. Ten minutes left. Hopefully one big perch will come. And I'm wondering if the other teams are still fishing or already in their cabins, sleeping, eating and relaxing. Because we have a quite far drive back, I think one hour. Then we have to prepare everything for tomorrow. We'll see. But first, we need to catch another perch. 50, please, Toby, now. It's not the right time. But you know, a big perch here can come in on a cast. And we still have like 10 more minutes. Oh, power! Perch. Another perch. Yeah, it's a sander. But they are shaking in the beginning, these small Yes, see, like they really feel like it's perch from the beginning. But now we have five more minutes and I need to unhook this one quick. I change to a normal jig because he's using the tube. tube. So I wanted to try something else. So try this. I'm trying this Venom. Actually quite good for sander fishing as well, but we're not here for sander pro this time. So I'm gonna release it. Bye. Justin, you did a great job with that perch. Well done. It was a hard day. But in the end, it was a happy end. And I'm so, so happy about this perch. Let's go home. Yeah, I think that too. Let's go home and uh, not celebrate this time. No. But uh, prepare for tomorrow, because the tomorrow is the final day and we need to perform. Yes. Let's go, come. See you in the next episode. Have a nice evening. Bye bye. Gris. De kantdag is over en het was niet gemakkelijk. Wederom was Team Neestroft heel dicht bij de Big Fish punt. Maar vandaag was het tijd voor Team Eholotus.eu om een eerste punt ooit in Purspro te pakken. Adam en Evert vingen in totaal 66 goedgekeurde baarzen, wat genoeg is voor de aantallen punten. Waardoor ze de finale dag ingaan met een totaal van 2 punten. Net als de grote winnaars van vandaag, Team Headbanger. 217 centimeter op het top 5 bord en een 44 centimeter baars gevangen op het topwater is een geweldige comeback na gisteren slechts 2 baars te hebben gevangen. Volgende week is het tijd voor de laatste dag en dit seizoen van Purge Pro kan op zoveel verschillende manieren eindigen. Mijn naam is Lauw Boom en ik zie jullie volgende week.